Hey everyone. So what I've got here is my IFR FM AM 1200 radio service monitor. And uh, working on a radio over here. And I went to go use the service monitor and it's out of lock. Uh, now when I bought this it had issues. And uh... I fixed the issue. I thought I had done a solid job of it. And uh, apparently it only lasted for a little while. So now I've got absolutely no change on anything. So, what I'm going to do is. Make a short video, I guess, of a repair on the service monitor. I'm going to take it out of my stand, get the back cover off, pull out the low lock module, and um, there's an adjustment point. I'll show where the adjustment point is, and we'll see if this fixes the issue with this service monitor once again and uh, just for reference I did do an alignment on the, uh, the power supply and there was some other uh, actually this drawing right here is for the scope the scope control board that uh, that was all aligned and calibrated and all that good stuff. And then I also went over and adjusted the power supply to make sure I had the proper voltages on that. And this came right out of the service manual that I found online. Uh, I'm not sure if I found the one for the 1200. This might have come out of the 1200S. Uh, or does the 1200S book also show the one for the 1200? I don't remember. But, this is the radio I'm working on. I'll do another video of this as well. The FDK Multi 2700. It's a 2 meter uh, all mode satellite radio from 1976 or thereabouts. Uh, it's got a module for. 10 meter uh, downlink from Oscar 6 and Oscar 7 satellite. And uh, what's been happening is these little uh, potentiometers or rheostats, I think they called them back in the day. Uh, well, this is a potentiometer. But the little tabs that hold that wheel on, the adjustment disc. The little tabs are busting off. Probably not on this one. <laughs> because it's still together. But. You end up with a bunch of little pieces. And there's no. Chance of repairing this. But that's for another video. So back to the IFR. Even as it warms up. It's still not coming in a lock. Still acting all weird. So hopefully when I. Start the video again, this will be all back to normal and have an actual signal being uh, received. Okay, so I've got the IFR here apart on the bench. I've got my low loop module out. It sits right here. The first bay that's exposed, you've got your CPU. The battery is underneath here, um, and the battery fails. That causes other issues. That information is out on the web. Um, what's this one? Phase lock. Haven't had an issue with this one. Haven't had an issue with any of these other ones. It always seems to be my low lock module that's causing an issue for me. So now what I got to do is just open up these two screws here, and this uh, RF shield comes off the case. And then there'll be an adjustment screw underneath. I'll show you that. 
Okay. I'm running off a of battery here. I think. Yeah. Still not working. Let's tune it to the local, uh, one of the local FM radio stations. And I'll come over here. Very gently. See if I can get this to come back in. No idea what that noise was. Start it. Lock? No. Still not locking. Oh, I don't want to take that cover off because I soldered all the way around. I was hoping to see the red light stop flashing. Indication is the red light there that's lit for the low lock. There's one, one station right there that's moving. Yeah. I don't know. Towards the uh, wrap-up of it, uh, they're taking questions from the audience, and this woman says, Jay, could you, talking to Jay, <laughs> Leonard, could you wish my son a happy 14th birthday? And he does, and he said, and then he turns... child will have for the rest of their, his life. Absolutely, yeah. and as Jay pointed out to the mom of the 14-year-old in two years, you watch your insurance skyrocket when he breaks this. <laughs> Something tells me i got to pull that cover apart.
No. All right. Well, I'm gonna bring it back. I'll bring it back when I get a little bit further. Okay, so apparently all I had to do was turn that coil in a little bit further. Now I've just got a little little whip antenna here. Definitely not a good antenna. But um No lock is lock is lit, so that's good. I go to 400 megahertz, still locked. AM still locked, I think. Yeah, I'll take that. Second. Oh, charge. It wasn't charging. So five megahertz. I'm unlocking now. So, okay. I guess maybe it's fixed for the moment. So, now that I got this straightened out, I can move on with my repairing of the other radio. So, I don't know if this helped anybody. Could have been a bunch of noise, maybe something to put you to sleep. But... That little point right down in there. You gotta take this cover off. There's no access port on the side. These are just the screws that hold it in place. I thought about drilling a hole in there, but I figured probably not a good idea. So, that's it. MV209 underneath that little box. Send me a message if you have any questions, and uh, thanks.